baseline. Swing it up, stolen away. Up ahead for Daniel Mullins. Yes. Senior Daniel Mullins proved early in his freshman year he was a real player. Mullings' offense was matched by great defense. That made him a natural leader during his career at New Mexico State. I think like being here just helped me, you know, become a better leader. And uh, you know, Coach Menzies helped me uh, helped me with that a lot. Well, Daniel's one that really embraced that uh, that role. I mean, he's just he's all in. You know, he's got full buy-in to to what it means to be an Aggie, and the fans see that. You know, I think back to some of the the moments with Daniel when he's playing with injuries and uh, playing with his jaw wired shut and just all kinds of uh, examples of, of his mental toughness and his, and, and, uh, you know, it's just his guts to, to want to be a great Aggie. Um, he embraced it and, and I think that the, not only did the fans and the community uh, see it, obviously the locker room saw it and it's, it's hard to not go hard when he's a teammate. And I think there's the intangibles that he brings to the game that aren't in the stats are, I can't, are countless. Um, you can't be on the floor and not play hard if, if Daniel's on the floor with you. You know, just to see myself grow from, you know, sitting out before I even, you know, played one game and then being a freshman, uh, seeing the, the seniors in that class, you know, Wendell, um, Hom, and Ernst, and then just each year just growing and being able to mature. And, uh, you know, now it's just crazy that I'm the senior and I'm seeing, you know, the young guys like Pascal and Matt and Braxton, and those guys come up now. Like, it's, it's just crazy to see, you know, the transition. He had some, some uh, freshman woes in the beginning, like, like most young guys do. And, and, and we put, put him to the fire, you know, and the way he handled it was, I mean, phenomenal. You know, I put him through a lot of things uh, to help him mature and grow, and he embraced them all, and, and that's why he is the man he is today. During Mullings' days at New Mexico State University, he grew not only as a player, but as a member of a real Aggie family, too. At first, when I first got here, you know, uh, Paul Weir was kind of the guy that kind of recruited me first and brought me here. And then once I got into the program, then uh, me and Coach Messi started getting closer and closer as um, I started to mature a little bit and go up in the ranks. So um, our relationship has, has, has grown and we have a strong bond. And I feel like it's been growing every year, um, year after year, you know what I mean? He's one of those guys like, like Chili, like Remy. I, I'm sure that this kid will, and I will be in contact, you know, frequently for the, the remainder of my years on the planet. Um, he's just that he's just that special, and that's just a, a, a true testament to the to the type of person that he is. You know, he's got a great smile, he's got a great attitude towards life. Uh, very, very, very uh, passionate young man. You know, his approach to the game itself is, has really been a blessing for the whole program. A vivid memory for all is the night Daniel subbed in after recovering from a broken little finger during his senior year. When, when we subbed in uh, Daniel that evening, uh, coming off that injury, it was like the roar was, you can't script that, you know, you can't plan that. And I uh, hadn't even thought about it actually until it happened. I was like, oh wow, he's back, you know, and they love him. I would always, I'm always going to remember all our road trips and, you know, from all the years when we did, um, all our road trips and, you know, since I've been here, we've been, like, all the teams, we've been very close to each other. I feel like uh, after I leave here, I'm going to be in contact with, like, all of these guys, and we're going to have a friendship, you know, forever.